there's a loud screaming call to really turn around and start the green transformation right now because we're very, very, very late. And I, every day I get more and more worried that we may not be able to actually act in time, even if we do everything right now. Since I've been here, I have seen roads swept away by landslides, houses destroyed in storms and flooding. Thank heavens, PNG is a carbon neutral country at the moment. The threat that we face from climate change, everyone needs to do everything that they can to mitigate as much as possible. In the past, Catherine's Island was used as a, as a poster island to raise the climate change issues in Bougainville. So that island is practically sinking. There's international media about it, but nothing hasn't been done in terms of addressing it. People are also feeling the effect of um, shortage of water as well in some of the areas where the rivers are drying up. The coastlines are affected with the rising of the seas and that's along the, uh, most of the Bougainville coastal area. Shortage of fuel, this is becoming like a challenge for the communities as well. One of the challenges in this country is that only 18% of the country has access to the grid. This country has the opportunity to leapfrog straight to renewables. There's no point in trying to build up a traditional grid system. Solar energy provides one of the great opportunities for this country to actually make up the huge energy gap in terms of access to energy, which is critical for development and people's lives and livelihoods and schools and hospitals. But we're not just solarizing three innovation hubs. We're also actually powering the whole town of Buin. So we're actually constructing a whole one megawatt solar farm in Buin, which will power the entire town. But the three innovation hubs are really important too, because these innovation hubs will have 24-7 access to power, 24-7 access to, to the digital world through the computers and internet connections where we're putting these solar installations in. But we are demonstrating the value and the possibility of this technology for the future. The option of having solar power grid in the community would really be very um, helpful for the communities when they have solar as an alternate energy to provide you know, energy to even power their own houses as well. It's, it's, it's actually quite exciting because the solar power will definitely um, support the program that the women will want to, to, to do within those innovation hub. These women will you know, change their lives, not just for today, but for the future as well. What I want to see is a country that shifts from its former dependence just on mining and on oil and gas and actually realizes the incredible potential of its forests, of its mangroves, of its coral reefs and conservation and actually drives and empowers the whole of its economy through a clean nature-based, solutions-based economy. I'm now actually struggling to understand people who don't understand the urgency of the threat of climate change because Actually, they see it in their own back door now. So I'm not sure who is living, whether they're in Tokyo or Minnesota or whichever city in the world. I can't really yet believe that there's anybody who hasn't seen how climate change is actually already changing their world and propelling them towards something unlivable. You certainly can't waste another moment.